Every year, when I visit my grandparents' house, they take me to the beautiful place where I enjoy watching the water flowing from the mountains. The water flows freely and is crystal clear in color. I also see the rivers near my residence contaminated with the chemical and the plastic waste. The water flow is blocked and these contamination badly affects the environment. Similarly, the blood flows freely through the blood vessels and functions normally. But when we take contaminated food or water or infected human blood through the blood transfusion, the blood gets contaminated by the viruses and these viruses affect our internal organs, causing chronic diseases such as Hepatitis C. Hepatitis is the inflammation of liver. Hepatitis C is a liver disease caused by the Hepatitis C virus, which was found by the three laureates. The three researchers all have contributed to pivotal discoveries. Harvey J. Alter demonstrated that the infection agent was a virus. Michael Horton identified the virus which was given the name Hepatitis C. Charles M. Rice proved that the virus alone is enough to cause chronic hepatitis. The HCV viral particle includes HCV RNA genome core and the envelope glycoproteins E1 and E2. HCV RNA genome interacts with the core proteins to form the viral nucleic acid in association with the cytosolic lipid droplets. The viral nucleic acid is enveloped in lipid-rich viral envelope with the E1 and E2 glycoproteins that play key roles in virus entry through the receptor binding and fusion. The life cycle of the hepatitis C virus. The virus enters through the clathrin-mediated endocytosis. The cellular and the viral membranes fuse and the capsid is disorganized with the process triggered by the low pH of the endosome. After uncoating the positive standard RNA genome is released into the cytoplasm. The genomic RNA is directly translated in a polyprotein precursor that is then cleaved into single proteins by both host and viral proteases. The non-structural proteins and some host factors form a replication complex that synthesized multiple copies of the HCV RNA genome through a minor strand replicative intermediate. Packaging of the viral progeny takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum from which the virion acquires the envelope with E1 and E2 glycoproteins. Maturation and association with the endogenous lipoproteins to form lipoviral particles immediately follow. The virions are released from the cells most likely by exocytosis or transmitted to other cells through a cell-free mechanism. There is no vaccine for Hepatitis C, but you can protect yourself from the infection by not sharing the drug needles or the drug materials, wearing gloves if you have to come in contact with other person's blood, not sharing the personal care items such as nail clippers or the razors.